What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Zach here. Yeah, and um, I'm here on a walking journey. As you can see, I'm not around my house. I'm not at my house. But I'm on the corner of this little emotional area that I like to go to. And I was just making a quick little video for y'all so y'all can see the journey of me walking. But... I'm going to be taking a little something something because last night I ate that chocolate um, Teddy Graham's edible bar and honestly I'm still feeling the effects now like I'm still high now I was high last night all night last night and then I woke up high so I wonder what these are gonna do hold on a sec I guess I got one of them in my hand Whoops. Mm -hmm. See inside. It says take one button. <laughs> My dumbass decided to take two. So we're gonna see all that aftermath. Right? But um I just wanna let y'all know that I've decided that making that poll for um which documentary I should make was probably the most stupidest thing. Because I've just decided to do both. The boxing return and the, um... The boxing return and the new life. Because both of those things are indeed happening. I am... I am... Whatchamacallit... I am starting a boxing, or I am making a comeback to boxing, but at the same time, I'm also starting a new life. So why not just make both documentaries? Right. So I already started on the trailer, on the trailer for the boxing return, because let me tell you guys, not only does it take a while to create the trailers, but it also takes a while to make it itself. Because I have to try, because in all my documentaries, I've realized something. I've realized that all I do is just post the same videos, but like edit, edit, editing them in a different way. I needed one of these for a while. And now that I got it, the hotel's at work. Probably not giving two shits about me. I get to have my own free time, listen to my music when I do these, make videos for you guys. I don't have nothing to think about. I mean, I got stuff to think about, but I don't like any bad feelings I have in my head. Whoosh. Whoops, just works away, <laughs> just walks away basically. And like when I have anything weed related or marijuana related, I I bring those with me. Like if I have weed, I'll use the little bowl to smoke out of it. Or if I have like a dab pen, I'll use a dab pen. Or if I use one of those rolled up blunts that I've had. Or if I even have edibles, I'll do anything. To make myself high and go to these type of walks. Now, also, guys, something I wanted to update you guys on. Um, college. So I don't know if I told y'all this, but I start January 16th. I'm going for gaming development. Um, but like I said, I still have to fill out that TAP or TAP as they like to call it. But she says I can't do it 
on my phone. So I have to do it. I have to do it on um at either there or I can do it at the computers at the at the school in the library. I figured since basically everyone who claims to have me in their life, I'm in their life, quote unquote. But nobody talks to me, nobody calls me, nobody bothers with me. And, and the last person that was always calling me ended up betraying me. Because she talks to the, I mean, she's entitled to talk to whoever she wants. Okay, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Kiki. Because Kiki, I thought, was a real loyal sister to me. And like I said, I'm never going to stop someone from talking to someone. That's not who I am. If someone wants to talk to someone, no matter how bad they are to them, no matter how much life ruining they are, then someone can go ahead and do so because that's their choice. That's their life, right? They can do whatever the hell they want. But if you're going to sit here and talk so much shit about them and then treat them like they're bad for you, even though they are, and still manage to hang out and talk to them. That's not only toxic, but that's blatant disrespect. Because Kiki was talking to two people that hate my guts. That still hate my guts to this day. You know, to this day. And that's Teresa and Cliffy. Because the shoulders hate me. Cliffy talked shit about me. Because honestly, all of this decision started because of Cliffy. The reason why Teresa hates me right now is because of Cliffy. If Cliffy didn't say that dumb shit about what what he thought happened, Kiki wouldn't have made a mistake and then I wouldn't have said anything. The thing is, all I was trying to do, all I've been trying to do for anyone and everyone, no matter what they're going to tell people are going to say, oh no, all he did was just start drama. All he did was just let his mental health get to him. Yeah, but what they also didn't tell you is that I've also been there, and I've been so nice and so supportive to every single person that hates me now. I've been there for them. I've had their back. I told them great advice. I told them if they need anything, come to me. But that's the thing. Nobody comes to me. Nobody texts me. Nobody calls me. No one checks up on me. No one does none of that. I have to do this shit on my own. Since I don't fit in with the cool kids, since I don't fit in with the cool friends, I'm gonna fit my own group. And that's just me, honestly, because I'm the only person I can talk to while getting along with. I'm the only person that can um that can talk to me without treating me differently. I'm the only person that can talk to myself without. Acting mad, weird, and shady about it. Because that's what everyone else does to me, guys. Literally, everyone treats me dirty. Everyone treats me weird. Everyone treats me like I'm not a normal human being because I have mental health. And I'm sick and tired of that. I know, again, I'm just recycling information. You guys have already heard this. But I got to let you... This is, this is called venting while high slash walking journey this is the type of shit i do when i'm on my walks i listen to music or i talk about my problem myself but now that i'm not to myself and i'm with you guys i can do that with y'all a lot of people that have done bad things to me have also done good things to me Kiki, she always bought me something anytime I needed it. I told her I need boxing gloves. She got me box. She literally did because she bought me a pair for Christmas. I told her I needed a headphones, a speaker. She'd be on it like a cat on a fucking scratch board. Like, there are some people out there who hate my guts that have done good things for me. And that's what people don't understand. People don't understand that. While people hate my guts and I talk shit about them, I could still talk about all the good shit they do for